For the premolar bite wing, the XCP consists of a horizontal bite block, a steel rod that lays flat, and a centered ring attachment. When attaching the ring, make sure the ring is centered so that you can see the entire bite block through the ring. A size 2 phosphor plate will be used with the A side facing away from the ring so the black side is visible when looking through the ring. To insert the phosphor plate, you will insert it so it is completely secured and centered on the bite block. Apply the thyroid collar around the patient's neck. Make sure to remove any jewelry, glasses, or other metal items that would interfere with the radiograph. Insert the phosphor plate into the mouth so that it captures the first molar, second premolar, first premolar, and the distal of the canine. When lining up the phosphor plate, make sure it is lined up with the mandibular arch so that the phosphor plate and the mandibular teeth are parallel with one another. Have the patient bite down on the bite block and push the ring in close proximity to the patient's face without touching. Tell the patient to not move in order to reduce the chance of a blurry image. Make sure the settings are on the bite wing button and on either child or adult setting. Place the rectangular collimation so that it is horizontal. The angles used when placing the tube head should be a horizontal angle parallel with the contact between the maxillary second premolar and first molar in a vertical angle of plus 5 to plus 10 degrees. This allows for the contact between the maxillary first molar and second premolar to be open. The XCP helps with these angles by allowing the tube head to fit into the notches and having the tube head parallel with the steel rod. Now the operator can step outside of the cubicle and press the x-ray button until you hear a beep and the light turns off. Then remove the XCP from the patient's mouth. Remove the phosphor plate and dry it off with a tissue. And place it in a Dixie cup. Now it is ready for processing.